Okay guys, quick update with Bitcoin. So uh, price just shot up like crazy. We got a rejection here at 47,660. I wanna show you how I found this point. Uh, if you watched the last video, I told you guys if we got a daily open above 45,000, that would be bullish. I'll put a link to this video now if you want to check it out. Uh, you can see we did get a daily open above, right here, right above this uh, resistance level around 45,200. And that was bullish and we pushed up. So I'm gonna give you upside targets, but most importantly, just for future, when we get these massive pumps, I just wanna show you a little trick or ways you can find these positive points. And again, I'm not saying this is a top, I'm just saying this is a way you can find points to open a scalp short, or at least a target to pay attention to. So in Discord, I, I made a post, said no way to know how high this goes, but 47,638 looks like the next likely point for a rejection. And again, this is what I'm gonna show you, using bottom wicks to create a channel for the top. And that's why I was saying 47,638 looks like the next point for a rejection. I added it to some other charts, and you can see we've got a rejection at 47,655. <clears throat> so basically, the way you do this, uh, you would just go down, so, so we can see the most bottom wicks. Uh, let me give an arrow tool here. Our most bottom wicks are right here and right here. So if you just do a horizontal, or you just do a line connecting these wicks, and guys, these are the basis. This is the basis of how I create all my charts. They're just a support and resistance levels. They make channels and fifth channel lines between. But you take that, right, your, your bottom wick here, your bottom wick here, just clone it, and then move it up to the top wick, and that gives you this point at 47,660. So just a little trick to find potential points for a rejection. Again, not saying we cannot get above that point. Uh, if we do get above, so if we hold above 47,660 and that becomes support, well, your next resistance to pay attention to would be this, this uh, fifth channel line moving upwards. And you have this uh, horizontal fifth, uh, fifth channel line here, and that's right around 48,400. Now, as I said before, we were in a channel and we pushed back up into that channel. That's why I said that would be bullish if we get above this point. So this was our resistance, support, resistance. We broke below it and then we pushed back up into the channel. So the top of this channel, so if we continue up, a, a likely point to enter a short would be up around 50,000. And of course, you know, these are daily candles. If it was today's candle, that'd be around pretty much 50,000. That gets higher as time goes on. But I would pay, pay attention to that target. But this is just a, a, a way that you can find these potential points to short. Obviously, your most key support level now, if we come down, is going to be around 40, 45,400. Obviously, if you get below that, I would pay attention to right at 45,000. As long as we're above this point, hey guys, stay long. But if we start, uh, if 45,000 starts becoming resistance, then you might want to start looking at some more downside. But these are your upside targets. Uh, this is, let's see, that was the D1 chart. This is the uh, Bitstamp 3.0 chart. And just for some confluence, guys, you can see that these targets pretty much match. That's around 50K. And this line right here is around 48,600. So those are your key resistance levels above uh, on the Bitstamp 3.0 chart. Your most key support is down around uh, 44,800. So if we do drop, an ideal point to enter along would be 44,750. That would be the lowest point. That would be the point to pay attention to. If we get below this on the Bitcoin 3.0 chart, that would be bearish. But 44,687, if we drop down to that point, great point too long. However, I would probably, if we drop down, I would long 45,400. If we drop below that, 44,000, let's say 45,000. But those are your key levels. We'll have to see what happens, guys. Uh, if you want to get access to these charts, uh, if you want to sign up, links pinned in the first comment description. It's optartcrypto.com. Uh, if you do get, if you want access to Discord, make sure you email me. If you want to get a leverage trading, uh, the three exchanges I trust and use are Bigit, BingX, and CoinCatch. CoinCatch is no KYC. If you want to jump on that, while you can. And this is a tutorial video I put up uh, teaching you how to trade. Uh, if you want to watch this video, I'll link up to it now. Guys, that's pretty much it. Just pay attention to these targets, and I'll see you in Discord. I'm out.